Eight years ago when I joined Osu, the game was very different. PPV2 had only just been implemented and the community was growing very quickly. At this time, very few people bothered to upload videos of top plays to YouTube, so many went largely unnoticed. Before I ever played Osu seriously, I was a fan of the game. It was around this time that I started my YouTube channel with the goal being to showcase the amazing plays that had gone unnoticed. Many of them had no video for years. And so I started looking through top players' profiles, watching number one replays on beatmaps, and searching through the game until one day, I stumbled across something incredible. This is Wubwuf Wolf's play on Amor Buffer. He had number one on the map with hidden double time, and at the time, the leaderboard did not even have 50 full combos. It had been over two years since the score was set. Amor Buffer starts out fairly simple, with low spacing and small streams. It's about 188 beats per minute on double time, which is just a bit faster than honesty. In the next section, the rhythms become just a little bit more dense and the spacing is slightly bigger as well. The difficulty ramps up throughout the map with each section getting harder than the last. After a short break, we come to the third section. This is the place where most runs will die. The sliders are much faster and there are a notorious series of triples that are completely spaced as they quickly dart around the screen. This all culminates with a couple of streams that go back and forth and a few easy jumps. If you manage to combo all that, you get a try at the outro section. These patterns are why the map is legendary. The outro has an outrageously fast slider velocity and right angle streams that are nearly the spacing of jumps. You'll notice the sliders have a high tick rate as well, meaning you have to aim nearly the entire slider body to avoid breaking combo, which makes the already insane patterns even worse. After some comparatively easy jumps, the map is over. When I watched this replay, I couldn't believe it. As the map got harder and harder, I was amazed at how few people knew about it and that it had no video that I could find. This was my favorite replay of all time back then. I was convinced that it was one of the best scores ever set. I uploaded it to my YouTube channel to show it off, and I was even inspired to make a video of the top 10 plays that Wubble Wolf had ever set on old maps. And of course, the map at number one was a more buffer. Here's what I had to say about the map back then. And at number one, we have a play that everyone should be familiar with. This Kirby Mix difficulty has streams whose spacing and patterns are extremely difficult and awkward to aim. Although the map is worth only 361 PP, it deserves much, much more for being the single hardest mechanical DT play ever done. Fast forward to today. I had passed the map with double time a couple times now, but my best score was only half the max combo with seven misses and mediocre accuracy, nowhere near a full combo. I was having a relaxed session with my stream and I decided to play the map just for fun. I quickly adjusted my offset and on my first try, this is what happened. Like your top play. And that's how I set my dream score. Just a few years ago, I thought this play was near impossible and looked up to it in amazement. My score on a more buffer is number one on the DT only leaderboards, standing above some of my favorite players ever. It's the first score I've ever set that is truly great and it reminds me why we play this game. The feeling of breaking through the wall and proving your ability on time tested maps is amazing. And to do things that you once thought were impossible. Thanks for watching. Check me out on Twitch if you like this video and please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.